You can't just focus all of your attention tonight on coronavirus and all of the changes happening to your life in that aspect because we are tracking some storms that could be uh, damaging, especially south of I-70. So here's the breakdown for you. Severe weather impacts are going to be strong winds, likely not going to see too much in the way of large hail, but the tornado threat is not zero either, uh, especially south of I-70. And later this evening, we'll break down the timeline for you coming up. And of course, with storms comes periods of heavy rainfall that could produce some brief flooding on some of those low lying roadways and creeks and streams as well. So right now this is where we are at on our timeline. Mostly cloudy, mild temperatures, moisture increasing. But later this evening is when we are going to track that surface low that I've been talking about uh, moving into the Miami Valley region. Scattered storms will be possible coming out of the southwest and they'll track toward the northeast. And then that severe threat is going to be really between 6 p.m. and midnight with strong winds the biggest concern. So hey, as I mentioned, we are at the cloudy part of the timeline. You can see there were some breaking clouds but over downtown Dayton or Goodwill Auto Auction camera. The current temperature is 62 degrees. We have winds out of the south around 10 miles per hour right now. Those wind speeds will increase coming up later tonight. Temperatures are sitting in the 60s. It's mild. One warm front has already moved through. We are tracking another warm front and we also have some rain already showing up on Live Doppler 2 HD, especially right along I-70. Just some light rainfall possible across Montgomery County. Some heavier rainfall moving into northern Preble County coming out of Wayne County, Indiana. So no lightning with this storm at this time. That's what we're the trend we're going to see is some scattered rain showers first cloud coverage increasing the moisture increasing, but there's a lot of activity further down to our south and to our west. This is what we are tracking as this continues to move closer to the Miami Valley. Our storm chances do go up now. Right now you can see there's that second low, low pressure system in the warm front I was talking about. That's going to make its way a bit further north tonight, but it does look like most of that rainfall and really the storm should stay just south of the Miami Valley. As you can see, the tornado watch is in that area where I pointed out the storms there into moving into Kentucky just to the west of Louisville. Right now we also have a risk for some flooding along the Ohio River Valley area just to the south of Cincinnati into northern Kentucky and southern Ohio. Here's the breakdown on future track. As I mentioned, that warm front's going to push north. Thunderstorms will be likely around along the warm front. Some rain showers ahead of that warm front. As this low pressure system tracks kind of between I-70 and the, the Ohio border, that's where we're going to be concerned for any of those brief spin-up tornadoes as that low pressure system makes its way across. As it pushes off to the east, we dry out heading into Friday morning and we even could see some sunshine during the day on Friday. But for now, that severe weather risk is greatest along I-70 and south of I-70 into Kentucky. In your hour by hour forecast, here's another breakdown of the timeline really around 6 o'clock heading into the 7 and 8 o'clock hours when we see the chance for more thunderstorms. Those thunderstorms will continue through 10 o'clock. Then once we get to midnight and really by 2 a.m., will be clear, but our winds are going to stay gusty. So with the storms in the area, we could see some strong wind gusts with any thunderstorms that we do see, and those winds will stay uh, gusty as we head into Friday morning. We are still looking at 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. This is 7 a.m. Friday morning. No rain at this time, but it will still be breezy even into Friday afternoon. So tonight your low 43 degrees. We see those thunderstorms, strong winds and tomorrow breezy with a west wind 10 to 20 miles per hour highs only around 50 degrees. We are dropping our temperatures as we head into the weekend. Notice high of 40 degrees, lows around 30 and yes, a chance for snow on Saturday. A lot going on with that forecast there. Tonight's the night if you don't have the Storm Team 2 app, you'll want to download it so you can keep track of Live Doppler 2 HD and any alerts we have. Yeah, very important. It'll alert you if there's severe thunderstorm, tornado warning, all the warnings we've got you covered. All right, thank you, Carly.